Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we are going to be finding out if you can access Dutch's secret chest full of money before the final mission of the game. So in case you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, in Chapter 6, when the gang actually moves up to Beaver Hollow, apparently Dutch actually got all the money that the gang has earned, possibly from Blackwater and even before that, and he has stored it in a single chest. And apparently Dutch has either gotten so sidetracked or lazy that he actually stored the chest full of money inside of the caves in which they're staying at. And in the final mission of the game, you actually have the option to help John or go back for the money. I wanted to see what would happen if you went for Dutch's chest before the final mission of the game. This is actually something that one of you guys suggested that I try out over on my Facebook page. So as always, if you feel like you have any cool mysteries or secrets you'd like me to try, uh, drop me a line over there. I really like interacting with you guys and it's been cool to see some of the theories you have and some of the mysteries and secrets you want me to explore as well. So we first start to hear about this chest sort of towards the latter part of chapter six. And eventually, Arthur reveals this plan to John, and they sort of discuss how they might go about getting the money. So listen, Abigail just told me, the money, it's hidden in the caves at Beaver Hollow. What? Yeah, so much for never hiding it near camp. Dutch was getting even sloppier than we thought. Are Abigail and Jack ready to leave? I think so. Okay. Whatever happens with this job today, wherever Dutch and them go next, we're getting you the hell out of here. We're going to get you the money you need. Knowing the three of you got out, well, maybe all of this will still mean something. Tilly and Susan, too. I'll do whatever it takes. You've always had my back, Arthur. Uh, perhaps not always. Anyway, here we go. One last train, Arthur. One last train. Okay, so as you guys heard there, Arthur reveals to John that Abigail told him about a chest and that she might actually have the key. And then in the final mission of the game, Red Dead Redemption, Abigail will actually give Arthur the key, which apparently was a necklace that she had and has been wearing the whole time. Hold up a moment. There's no time. What happened to John? Where's John? I, I don't know. Arthur. He... What? He got killed or he what? got captured. No. I'm really sorry. No! Abigail, I'm... <laughs> I was on the train and I didn't see it. No. <laughs> Listen. No. We got Jack. He's safe. <laughs> Mrs. Adler will take you to him. But, John, I want you to know this. He loved you. He loved you and Jack, he did. He wasn't perfect, but he did. Now, you gotta go get that boy. Come on, get out of here. What? Arthur, what are you doing? I gotta go have a little chat before I get much sicker. No, Arthur. Don't you owe Arthur me. Neither of you two. Not now. You both know. <clears throat> I gotta go settle some things. For me, no one else. You go get that boy. There'll be time for sorrow later. If you're headed back there, Arthur, take this. I don't need it anymore. What's that? There's a chest in them caves, in the back to the left, hidden under a wagon. Duchess chest. It's all our money. I know John told you I knew where it was. <sighs> Abigail Roberts. Always was a good thief. That you was. <laughs> Go on, get out of here. 
So what this does is it gives Arthur the option to go for the money if he wants. However, I wanted to see what would happen if before both of those missions, Arthur went for the money on his own. Like for example, let's say he stumbled across those caves and found the chest, would he be able to get access to it? Would anyone stop him? Would the area be restricted? Would Dutch say something and intervene? That's what we're gonna be finding out in this video today. So if you guys choose to go for the money at the end of the game, it is revealed that it is this chest underneath this wagon with a couple of crates in the way. And in case you guys are wondering how much money Arthur actually gets from it, it is an absolute ton. So he gets over $42,000. $42,000 in 1899. Do you guys know how much money that would be in 2019? An insane amount of money. It's the equivalent in 2009 dollars of 1,305,755 and 54 cents. That is a ton of money, over 1.3 million dollars. So you can see why Arthur would want to go after the money and you could also see why Dutch would be so interested in hanging on to it because it's a life-changing amount of money. I mean, $42,000 can be a life-changing amount of money. $1.3 million is a life-altering amount of money. Like, it's insane. But anyways, let's return to the cave, and that's where we are right now. And even before the final mission of the game, the chest is still there. And it's just waiting there, and presumably all the money is on the inside. However, there seems to be no way to destroy the crate or move the crate that's in the way to get access to it because that's what Arthur did during the cutscene. He basically just moved the crate away. So I wanted to see what would happen if we could get the wagon and the crates out of the way. So lucky for me, I had some dynamite, so I figured this would be a perfect opportunity. So what I did is I threw some dynamite down and to my surprise, it did a lot of damage. And it actually blew away the chair and all the crates in the way which revealed the chest even more. So now there are no crates in the way. The chest is the only thing that remains underneath. However, Arthur still cannot get access to it. Really, really unfortunate. So after finding that out, I basically exhausted my entire dynamite supply on this wagon. And while I was able to destroy it a pretty good amount, I didn't have any luck opening the chest. And you can even go around to the other side where you can literally touch the chest full of money. Like Arthur will be inches away from it, yet still cannot get any of the money out. And then I tried fire bottles because that's the next explosive that I had. And it lit the entire thing on fire. However, it still did not damage the chest underneath. It looks like Dutch got himself a high quality chest there and was able to keep the money intact. Now, after I did that, I went back up to the campsite to see if, you know, maybe Dutch or Micah or someone would be like, you know, hey, what were you doing in there, Arthur? Were you looking for something? But I didn't get any interactions like that. Micah actually came up to me and I thought something was about to go down, but it was just like a normal camp sort of encounter conversation. In fact, really the only conversations I had were sort of like dialogue with John and Abigail explaining what they would do if the gang sort of fell apart, sort of their escape plan. And they were hinting about taking the money, but I don't think there was any conversations that were triggered by Arthur actually, you know, running across the chest of money before those missions actually took place. Now, this brings up another question. How and when did Dutch get this money to Beaver Hollow? Because I don't ever recall him having the money in chapters one, two, three, and four. The narrative throughout the entire game was that he left that money in Blackwater. Was he lying the whole time? Did he have the money and just led people to believe it was still there? Or after he got back from Guarma, did he go back to Blackwater when everyone thought he was dead to ultimately retrieve the money? And he sort of stored it in the caves in Beaver Hollow. Or did he have someone else working for him? At this point, Dutch is such a complicated character and it's so hard to tell where he could have gone because there's so many instances where Arthur wouldn't be watching him. 
So theoretically, at any point in time, he could have gone and done this. But it does raise a lot of questions, and it sort of makes me question the entire story of where the money was the whole time. Was it really in Blackwater, or was Dutch keeping it for himself and just towards the end of the game got really sloppy and uh, put it way too close to camp? And that's how Abigail found out about it. But anyways, that's all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating on this video. That'd be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.